Hello everyone, Dylan or Dylan Days here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2022 review and this one is on uh, the Inquisitor Transport site from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series of course. So on the front of the box here we have the LEGO and Star Wars logos and that new border like design they, they've been using since the beginning of the year but now with the Obi-Wan uh, Kenobi attire of course. And recommended ages is 9 and up. Set number 75336 has 924 pieces. And then see picture of the set uh, in action of flying above Tatooine and all the mini figs included, of course. <coughs> and onto the back, see picture of it landing in a resting position on Tatooine and a little battle of all the mini figs there and all the features of it. and lego.com slash star wars logos again and yeah <clears throat> and on to the instruction manual I would same picture as on the front of the, or I mean different picture than the front of the box of course at, with that odd rendering that they're doing now but well, yeah and on the back, how to win on the online survey. And all the pieces that come with the set. And then add for some of the other summer sets. That, or for the, all the sets of this summer wave, of course. And then last building steps. Also, front of which is just advertisement of how they're transitioning to paper bags of course and yeah <clears throat> next now on to the four main things included with this set this first off is an all new, different, exclusive version of Obi Wan Kenobi. Well, the show's variant. Like, as you can see, still wielding the blue lightsaber, but a little different hue of blue, as you can kind of tell there. But also, he was wearing this new cape like poncho kind of thing there. And also, interesting torso print with, in the sand blue with the belt on there, of course. And face print to which, well, face print and hair piece of which, all the same as from the Obi Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader set that there also is. And next to which is the Grand Inquisitor, or otherwise just Inquisitor. I was first time getting him since 2015 and 16, well, and quite different than the version that came with the Star Wars Rebels sets, of course, but as you see with all of the is with all the inquisitors here all have the same double lighted lightsaber and the hilt part same since 2015 oh which nice to see return here but aside from that he was looking quite about close to as he did in the show of course and same exact shoulder piece as the 2015 rebels version kind of did but except not have the imperial symbol on the side shoulder parts but whatever but it's still good printings all over, of course. And in, next to which, uh, hang on. <coughs> and next to which is the fifth brother inquisitor, which, as you can see, does have the kind of tealish uh, face print there and uh, torso print and leg print, quite good. To, to, and then. It, like printing, just the same as Grand Inquisitors, of course, but but also the uh, hat, the helmet piece, and also a shoulder bit, which just about the same as from uh, 2015 16 versions of it. And last of which is Fifth Brother. Let's see, Third Sister Inquisitor, Reva. Oh, which, who is all new and exclusive to this set, of course. Like, for the front torso printing, oh, which, really well done for that. 
and face printer which is quite good for that but also an all new uh, hair piece that is exclusive to her kind of representing her braids that she has of course but aside from that still good but although for the capes that some of them have Grand Inquisitors is actually all new and exclusive to that it actually which connects with just one whole connection kind of like we had with uh, uh, Darth Malagas and uh, the Hobbit Dwarves in 2012 of course but also all, each of these which are the soft uh, cloth material unlike how Darth Vader that can that comes in the Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader set actually had a more thicker material like in the previous times so I forgot to say that but yeah but also Obi-Wan Kenobi which does have the uh, double side face of course also the same as from that other set and whereas for uh, the two inquisitors of which also good back head printing and whereas fifth brothers of which well captures how it how he looks in the show but although this printed which can be kind of useful for custom figs like uh, special dro droids or something And of course, and then of course, do you have a clip right there to hold the lightsaber hilts on to, of course. And but also, and of course, back torso printing on each one of them, of course. So now that is about it with the minifigs included. And now on to the set itself. And here is the transport site itself. Which, as you can see, quite interesting, unique ship that we've never seen before or is all new to the lego star wars catalog or library of course which has some unique shaping to it kind of all jagged uh, all over which kind of reminds it reminding us all of uh, uh director krennic's uh imperial shuttle for rogue one in 2016 of course well since they're both empire uh, ranged kind of vehicles, but yeah. And as for this first area with uh hang on. Okay, so for this first area, front area, which as you see is like separated in two separate kind of things. Okay. Oh, which which go in like both ways, of course. And also these top fits, which you can flip open, and this top bottom one you can flip open, and it, it which serves as the boarding ramp. Once again, boarding ramp. That lets them ride on to it, of course. And also underneath the which is pretty much about four of these pieces kind of pieces like you'd see on like on like an on some various uh, vehicles that there are but just steady it's just there just can't fold in or anything and that's for the side of which quite a lot of exposed studs but that's all right but just a few smooth areas of course is in whereas for this side which done quite well with a whole lot of tiling and a little bit of greebling around there same with this area of course and of course wings do fold up and down which and underneath it is a couple of spring little launchers which, which of course we all know how that works like As for the uh, 
upper parts of which would do have a few regular Technic Zilder pieces and a rod piece with a lightsaber helicon. I would represent that they're probably to look like there are other blasters on them. And also, as for this cockpit area, which, as you can see, zoom a bit. Which, as you can see, does have the usual uh, upper cockpit piece like we'd see in the like Speed Champions line, but however, it's molded in trans red with some black printing on it. Quite cool, and definitely useful in mock making. And for the feet, and also, as for the back part of which. Which, as you can see, also well tiled off with those corner pieces, but also a few with stickers on. But there's very few stickers in this set, and also do have a couple of those odd pieces there. And of course, the like little cylinder pieces that have the blue uh, dish piece. So, and, but also those that cylinder piece there, like we've seen on the like. A downscaled X Wing from last year, and also one of those odd pieces as an engine bit, of course. But also, like few Star Wars ships we see nowadays, it has, or also like Krennic's Director Krennic's shuttle, of course, has plenty of accessibility to it. Also, like the 2020 Razor Crest, of course. Where you can like flip this open and it's in three spots or four spots to do so in, and also these two bits as well. And if you look right in, you see a couple of stickered up tile pieces there, and also plenty of open space, and also a couple tile bits there as well. Like you and of course decked out similarly like you'd see on most Imperial ships of course. And also those interesting Technic bits to it to help secure things together. And also if you like notice some of the like 1x3x2 jumper uh, plate or kind of plates there. And of which and of course enough to store all of the blade bits of the Inquisitor's red lightsabers on there and have these three chair pieces, two regular ones and one brick built one enough to sit all three Inquisitors onto it. And also do have a sticker or I mean a printed uh panel piece or just cheese slope piece. So they're for a control pad of course. And of course they all fit quite well despite the capes, of course. Course. store all the other and as for the wings which fold downwards also like in director Krennic's shuttle and this here in its flight mode almost as cool at, or kind of cool almost but almost as cool as most other Star Wars ships of course And so now, on to the final verdict. So, for my overall verdict... Uh, hang on. Okay, so, for my overall verdict on this set, I think this was a quite cool set. Uh, based upon the show, of course, but also size, size for price of which, and price for piece of which, done quite goodly, and also so, does have plenty of accessibility and interior space like we barely see much with most others, unlike how for the 2020 Night Buzzer set, which didn't have much interior to it, but this one of which quite well does, same with like the Razor Crest and whatnot, but yeah. And as for the mini fig selection, it was great to see new update version of the main Inquisitor. Well, first time since Star Wars Rebels, of course. 
and also good to have Reva and Dobi Wan Kenobi, of course, since it's for the suiting to the show, of course, but yeah. Although it may be kind of similar to Director Crank's shuttle, of course, but at least it would slight bit different, like a lot longer and whatnot, but yeah. And also, so for how it is, which very good for that. And of course, being all black with the black red cockpit piece, making it well suitably evil and whatnot, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to uh, get started on your Obi-Wan Kenobi show uh, display collection, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.